Okay, we're gonna move on to the next agenda item. Economic and Business Development Committee. Okay, Councilman, it's all yours. Okay, thank you, Chair. First one on the agenda, we have a resolution of the Gullah Sioux Tribal Council, the Gullah Sioux Tribe to remove Robin Tapio from the Economic and Business Development Committee. Whereas the Gullah Sioux Tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as a supreme law of the land with the United States government pursuant to the U.S. Constitution Article 6 and is in a signatory to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, September 17, 1851, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, April 29, 1868, and continues the nation to nation relationship with the federal government. <clears throat> and whereas the Wall Street Tribal Organized under Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934-25 USC subsection 5123 by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws. And under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Lawsuit Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Article 4, Sections 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pioneer's Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Gullah Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas Councilwoman Robert Tapio made a formal request to resign from the OST Economic and Business Development Committee, and whereas the OST Economic and Business Development Committee met on June 16th and approved the resignation of Councilwoman Robin Tapio from the committee, and recommends the approval of Ms. Tapio's resignation to the Law Suit Tribal Council. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Law Suit Tribal Council does hereby approve the resignation of Ms. Tapio from the OST Economic and Business Development Committee. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Dreamer, second by Councilman Hawkins. Go ahead. Um, I, I don't know if it's proper, but I'd like to uh, include my name on a resolution if that's okay, George. Um, if it's okay with the second. Wes is fine with it also, so yes. Okay, so with the amendment to take off Councilwoman Tapio and add or to include. Okay. Okay, so also to remove uh, Councilman Little Dog. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Jim Inks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin' Eagle, Sr. They're both getting out of work. No. Howard Rooks. <laughs> yes. Austin Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. James Cross. Oh. Anna Halverson? Yes. George Dreamer Jr.? Yes. Robin Tapio? Not voting. Tyler Lunderman? Upon their request, yes. David Puyer? Don Rick Osper? Yes. Garfield Little Dog? No development, no work. So, yes. Chris 
Craig Dillon? Yes. Twelve yes, two no, one not voting. Motion passed. All right, um, second one, resolution of Wells Sioux Tribal Council approving engineering services contract with KLJ Engineering LLC for work with the Wells Sioux Tribe. So as a Wells Sioux Tribe organized in, in accordance with section 16 of the Re Indian Reorganization Act of 1934 on December 14th, 1935, by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws. And the tribal council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas the tribal constitution authorizes the tribal council in Article 4, Section 1F, to manage all economic affairs and enterprises of the tribe, and in Section 1W, to protect and promote the health and general welfare of the tribe and its members. <clears throat> and whereas the tribe conducted a request for proposals pursuant to the tribal financial management manual and supervised by the Office of the Department of Transportation for engineering and other services to support the various programs of the Wallace Sioux Tribe for a period of five years. Whereas the firm KLJ Engineering LLC submitted a proposal to provide engineering services to the tribe. And whereas a selection committee with members from tribal programs, including the Department of Transportation, Commerce, Contracting, Chief of Staff and Financial Services was organized to review proposals submitted and are recommending KLJ Engineering LLC for an engineering services contract for a period of five years. And whereas the Economic and Business Development Committee of the Tribal Council met on the day of and voted to approve the selection committee's recommendation and forward it to the Tribal Council for final approval. And whereas the Tribal Council has considered the matter and determined that it is in the best interest of the tribe to approve a five year multi-services contract with the KLJ Engineering LLC. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Tribal Council of Wallace Sioux Tribe does not hereby, does hereby approve the attached contract between the Wallace Sioux Tribe and KLJ Engineering LLC for the provision of engineering and other related services to the Wallace Sioux Tribe for five years. And be it further resolved that the president or the vice president in the absence of the president is hereby authorized to sign the attached contract on behalf of the tribe. Motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Dreamer, second by Councilman Goldspear. Secretary, call for the vote. Okay, question. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess this is a question for legal. Did this go through legal? I don't know if Majel's on or not. No. Mr. Chairman, did this go through legal? Um, is Majel on? No. I no. recommend it to her, so probably not. <clears throat> kind of hard for me to approve something that didn't go through legal, but thank you. Go ahead. You know, thank my colleague for bringing that to light. I know in the past couple of years, we've had numerous questions as to far as far as, you know, how much money we spent utilizing KLJ, um, deliverables, services uh, to the program. And I, I, I too have a problem if it wasn't reviewed by our legal office. So could we get an answer before we vote on? Yes, uh, I believe they're trying to get her on the phone here. Okay, I guess uh, according to attorney, it's uh, it's been uh, reviewed and it's okay. 
So with that, uh, we'll, we'll uh, run the vote. Secretary. Wesley Hawkins, Senior. Oh. Jim Inks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin Eagle, Senior. Yes. Howard Rooks. Uh, not voting. Austin Watkins, Senior. No. Tyler Yellowboy. No. Wendell Youngman, Jr. No. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer, Jr. Oh, yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Yes. Don Roy Gosper. Yes. Garfield Little Dog. Nope. Craig Dillon. No. Nine yes, five no, one not voting. Motion passed. Um, excellent resolution of Gallo Street Tribal Council of the Gallo Street Tribe approving the submittal of a community access grant by the Gallo Street Tribe Department of Transportation for Manderson Main Street improvements. <clears throat> Whereas the Gallo Street Tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14, 1935, in accordance with Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, <clears throat> USC subsection 5123, and under Article 3 of the Constitution, Gallo Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of Gallo Sioux Tribe. Whereas the Tribal Constitution authorizes the Tribal Council in Article 4, Section 1A, to advise and negotiate with the federal government on behalf of the Tribe F to manage all economic affairs and enterprises of the Tribe and Section 1G to appropriate for public purposes of the tribe any available tribal council funds, and Section 1W to adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Gallo Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas transportation is a vital part of the Gallo Sioux Tribe's infrastructure and adequate transportation facilities are essential to sustain and maintain the social and economic well being of the area. And whereas the South Dakota Department of Transportation provides community access grants on a competitive basis, providing state funds for towns less than 5,000 in population for the construction or reconstruction of major streets in rural communities. And whereas there are businesses, services, and education centers in Manderson which attract residents in the surrounding area. And as a result, there is a high volume of vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Whereas there is not adequate vehicular access management along Manderson Main Street, evidenced by several intersecting roads and business approaches that blend together in an unsafe manner. And whereas a street curb is needed to protect pedestrians walking or biking on the Manderson pathway, which is located along the west side edge of Manderson Main Street. And whereas ADA compliant sidewalk and ramps are needed along the east side for pedestrians accessing housing the post office and the basketball court. And whereas the stormwater drains from west to east is not efficiently collected and discharged at Madison Main Street, BIA Route 33, causing flooding at the park, Pinky Store parking lot, and to homes on the west side. And whereas the Madison Main Street Improvements Project is the third phase of improvements to infrastructure in the community of Madison and following the water upgrades and Madison pathway projects. And whereas the Madison Main Street Improvements Project is necessary to prepare for reconstruction of connecting housing streets, which will collect stormwater and will drain through this project. And whereas the 0 0.25 mile Madison Main Street Improvements Project will include reconstruction of BIA Route 33 from 0 0.10 mile north of Pinky Store to 0.15 mile south with curb and gutter. Asphalt, concrete pavement, storm sewer, sidewalk, realigning intersections, defining approaches for businesses and service centers and coordinating work with utilities. And whereas the Gallo Sioux Tribe Department of Transportation will use the tribal transportation programs funds to provide the required local match funding. And whereas that the Economic and the Business Development Committee may approve the community access grant application for the Manderson Main Street Improvements Project. I'll therefore be resolved the Gallo Sioux Tribal Council authorizes the submittal of a community access grant 
application for the Madison Main Street Improvements Project. Being an applicant includes a willingness to secure and guarantee the local share of costs associated with this project and responsibility for seeing this project to its completion with compliance of all applicable laws, rules, and regulations. Motion. Okay, we have a motion by uh, Councilman Jeff and Eagle. We have a second. I'll second. Second by Councilman Hawkins. Second by Councilman Goldsbear. Go ahead, Councilman. Chair, uh, I'm sorry. I think uh, Mr. Little Dog wanted to make that motion and I jumped the gun. Motion, I guess. Okay, motion by Councilman Little Dog. Go ahead, Councilwoman. Can we make an amendment to that resolution to include the sovereign tribal nation treaties or the supreme law of the land with the right um, article numbers in the sections? Um, article 4, section 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W. Uh, do we have any objections with the motions? No. Okay, so we'll add with the uh, amendments. And also the um, we need to insert the date of the ENVD committee on the last page. And I believe that was 6 16 23. Okay. Wesley Hawkins, Senior. Scumpo. Oh. Jim Minks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin Eagle, Senior. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins, Senior. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yep. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Yes. Donroy Goldsbear. Yes. Garfield Little Dog. Craig Dillon. Yes. Unanimous 15, motion pass. Can I have a uh, co-chair, Councilman Youngman, if you do the next one. Oh, sorry, that was it. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next agenda item is education. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Resolution of the Ogala Sioux Tribal Council of the Ogala Sioux Tribe setting the quorum for meetings of the Ogala Sioux Tribe Education Committee at five council persons during the Star Comes Out Muso administration, which changed which change is in compliance with section six of ordinance 1922. Whereas the Ogala Sioux Tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as a supreme law of the land 
with the United States government pursuant to U the U.S. Constitution, Article 4, and as a signator of the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, September 17th, 1851, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, April 29th, 1868, and continues the nation-to-nation -nation relationship with the federal government. And whereas the Ogallala Sioux Tribe organized under Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 25 U.S.C. subsection 5123, by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Article 4, Sections 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and to adopt laws protect, protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas the Ogallala Sioux Tribe on the 29th day of May 2019, by adopting Ordinance 1922, did set forth a standing committee, or, committee ordinance which govern, governs the standing committees. And whereas Section 16, excuse me, Section 6 of the Indian Reorganization, or excuse me, Section 6 of the Ordinance 1922, a standing committee can change its quorum with approval of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council by resolution, which change, which change in quorum shall be effective for the administration in which it is approved. And whereas the OSC Education Committee on the 12th day of June, 2023, with the quorum present to conduct business and did approve that a resolution be drafted and presented to the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council to change the OST Education Committee quorum for the Star Comes Out Musu administration to five council persons. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council does hereby, based upon the recommendation of the OST Education Committee, approve in accordance with Section 6 of Ordinance 1922, the quorum of the Ed OST Education Committee meetings to be set at five council persons for the Star Comes Out Musu administration. Motion. Second. Okay, we got a motion by Councilman Yellowboy, second by uh, Councilman Lunderman. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Jim Inks. Ryan Jumpin' Eagle, Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins, Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer, Jr. Yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Yes. Don Gospair. Yes. Craig Dillon. Yes. Unanimous 14, motion passed. Thank you, Council. <clears throat> Resolution of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Council of the Ogallala Sioux Tribe removing John Steele Sr. as a voting member of the Ogallala Sioux Tribal Education Committee in compliance with Section 7 of Ordinance 1922. Whereas the Ogallala Sioux Tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as the supreme law of the land, which the United States government pursuant to the U.S. Constitutional Ar Constitution Article 4, and is a signature to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, September 17, 1851, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, April 29, 1868, and continues to the nation to nation relationship. That's supposed to be Article 6, I believe. Is that 4? It says, anyway, make the change. <laughs> in the nation-to-nation -nation relationship with our with the federal government. And whereas <clears throat> the Ogallala Sioux Tribe organized under Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 
US, 25 USC subsection 5123 by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws and under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Ogallo Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. Whereas Article 6 sections 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Ogallo Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas in our, the Ogallo Sioux Tribe on the 29th day of May 2019, by adopting an ordinance 1922, did set forth a standing committee ordinance which governs the standing committees of the Ogallo Sioux Tribal Council. And whereas at, whereas at section seven, of the ordinance 1922, a tribal council representative can be removed from the committee if that council representative fails to attend three consecutive committee meetings and the removal of the representative from the committee shall be confirmed by tribal council resolution. And whereas on six, the 16th day of May, 2023, the OST Education Committee did direct the chairperson of the OST Education Committee to contact John Steele Sr. and request that John Steele Sr. attend the Education Committee meeting of that John Steele Sr. resigned from the Education Committee, which the chairperson did notify John Steele Sr. by letter dated May 24th, 2023. Whereas the request made on May 24th, 2023 letter to John Steele Sr. was based upon the fact that John Steele Sr. has not attended unexcused absences to OST Education Committee members since John Steele was appointed to the Education Committee by the OST Tribal Council Resolution number 22-198, which, which is more than three consecutive meetings. And whereas the OST Education Committee on the 12th day of June 2023 with the quorum present to conduct business did approve that a resolution be drafted and presented to the, OST, to the Ogallo Sioux Tribal Council to remove John Steele Sr. as a voting member of the OST Education Committee. Now therefore be it resolved that the Ogallo Sioux Tribal Council does hereby based upon the recommendation of the OST Education Committee approve in accordance with section seven of, the or of ordinance 1922, the removal of John Steele Sr. as a voting member of the OST Education Committee. Motion. Okay, we have a motion by Councilman Yellowboy. Second by Councilman Hawkins. Okay, comment. You know, I'm gonna make a comment on this because we just changed a quorum with education from six to five members. So, um, you know, sounds like there's an issue with committee members going to these meetings. And I know I don't see everybody all the council reps who are on committees going to meetings either. So are we gonna start removing other council reps from standing committees that don't show up or if they just log on to Zoom for uh, just to be counted present and then log off? You know, I don't support this at all. I think it's just, um, you know, we have other members here that also need to attend committee meetings. Thank you. Is there any other comments? Okay, Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Senior. Oh. Jim Meeks. No. Ryan Jumpin Eagle Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. No. George Dreamer Jr. No. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Don Roy Gospert. No. Craig Dillon. No.
Nine, yes. Five, no. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, moving on to HHS committee. I think it's finance number 11. Correction, finance, thank you. Finance committee. Thank you. Uh, ordinance of the Ogala Sioux Tribal Council of the Ogala Sioux Tribe amending ordinance number 23-23 authorizing a modified day labor program adding needed positions and clarifying titles and pay. Whereas the Gualasu tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as a supreme law of the land with the United States government pursuant to the US Constitution Article 6 and is a signatory to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, and continues the nation to nation relationship with the federal government. And whereas the Gualasu tribe organized under section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 25 USC subsection 5123 by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws. And under article three of the tribal constitution, the Gualasu tribal council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas article four sections 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the tribal council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Gualasu tribe and its membership. And whereas in response to the COVID-19 public health emergency, the tribe declared a state of emergency on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and the tribal council adopted numerous ordinances and resolutions to establish and implement public health measures and emergency relief programs and to otherwise address the health, welfare, and safety of the tribe, its members, and other reservation residents in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic. And whereas COVID-19 virus and its variants has caused illness and death and continues to present a threat to public health, especially for the unvaccinated and immunocompromised. And whereas there are certain tribal pro programs that have received funding through the American Rescue Plan, ARP Act, Public Law 117-2, to mitigate and respond to the COVID-19 public health emergency and to respond to the impact of COVID-19 on the tribes, communities, residents, and businesses. And whereas there is a need for the day labor program to continue in carrying out certain response, prevention, and mitigation efforts against the spread of COVID-19 and, and negative economic impact within our tribal communities that include prevention, education, testing, and vaccination promotion, contact tracing, assistance with quarantine, transportation to healthcare facilities, and other services. And whereas on May 20th, 2021, the Tribal Council enacted ordinance number 21-30 that established the Gualasu Tribe Day Labor Program to mitigate and respond to the COVID-19 public health emergency on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. And whereas there are available funds in the OST Health Administration AR ARPA funds, and whereas on May 31st, 2023, the Tribal Council enacted ordinance number 23-23 that resumed a modified day labor program. And whereas there is additional day laborers needed and clarification on the positions needed and the rate of pay of several of the positions. And whereas the OST Finance Committee has reviewed the need for the additional day labor positions, the pay rate of several positions and reallocation of a day labor position and recommends amending ordinance number 23-23 to meet those needs. Now, therefore, be ordained that the Gualasu Tribal Council does hereby amend ordinance number 23-23 to include the following positions as follows. One, overall supervisor at $17 an hour. One, timekeeper position at $17 an hour. One, supervisor per district, nine at $15 an hour. Eight, day labor positions per district at $12 an hour, five grave diggers at $15 an hour, one accounts payable position at $15 an hour, one ARPA day labor position at $15 an hour, two day labor positions for revenue department at $15 an hour, five day labor positions for vice president's office at $14 an hour, 
two day labor positions for COVID office at $12 an hour, two day labor positions for records retention at $12 an hour, and be it further ordained that the program that the program shall resume under the most recent prior day labor guideline policies. And be it further ordained, the funding source shall be the OST Health Administration ARPA budget modification number five. And be it further ordained that this ordinance shall take effect immediately and continue until as long as funding is available or until December 31st, 2024, whichever occurs first and shall supersede, repeal, and replace all prior inconsistent, inconsistent laws of the Ogala Sioux Tribe. Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Jumpin Eagle, second by Councilman Yellow Boy. Call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Jim Minks? Yes. Ryan Jumpin Eagle, Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks? Austin Watkins, Sr. Tyler Yellowboy? Yes. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. James yes. Cross? Yes. Anna Halverson? Yes. George Dreamer, Jr.? Yes. Robin Tapio? Yes. Tyler Lunderman? Yes. Don Roy Gosper? Yes. Yes. Craig Dillon? Unanimous 14, motion passed. Okay, the next one is ordinance. Uh, wrong one. Ordinance of the Ogala Sioux Tribal Council of Ogala Sioux Tribe amending the Ogala Sioux Tribe Loan Program policies and procedures adopted by Ordinance 22-34 to modify long-term loan policy section to provide for rewrites for Tribal Council and Executive Committee members. Whereas the Gualasu tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as the supreme law of the land with the United States government pursuant to the U.S. Constitution Article 6 and is a signatory to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1.749, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868-15, and continues a nation-to-nation -nation relationship with the federal government. And whereas the Gualasu tribe are organized under Section 16 of the Indian Organization Act of 1934, 25 U.S.C. subsection 5123 by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws. And under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Ogallasu Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Article 4, Section 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health, health and general welfare of the Ogala Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas the Ogala Sioux Tribe has created a revolving loan program to assist Ogala Sioux Tribal employees, tribal entity employees, Ogala Lakota College employees, and tribal contracted school employees, those em employees who pay the 2% right to work fee. And whereas it has been de determined that the ability for tribal council representatives and executive committee members to rewrite loan, long-term loans provides an important benefit. Whereas the OST Finance Committee has reviewed amending the policy on revolving, evolving loans with respect to tribal council representatives and executive committee members, and now recommends the approval of amendments in, to part 2D of the Ogallasu Tribe Loan Program policies and procedures. Now, therefore, be it ordained that the Ogallasu Tribal Council does hereby amend the Ogallasu Tribe Program policies and procedures adopted by Ordinance Number 22 34 and other amendments by amending part. 2D, which shall read as follows. Number two, long-term loans, tribal employees. D, tribal council members and executive committee members may borrow up to $8,000 plus a 10% processing fee. The total repayment amount shall be scheduled for not more than 25 consecutive pay period payments or by the corresponding number of pay periods remaining in the current political administration term of office, whichever is less. 
provided that there are adequate revolving loan funds, tribal council members and executive committee members may rewrite long-term loans when they pay off balances at 50% of the existing loan, including the 10% processing fee. Example, $2,000 loan, $200 processing fee. Total 2,200, 50% is $1,100. All rewritten loans will be charged a processing fee equal to 10% of the additional funds added by the rewrite. The total amount of the rewrite balance shall not exceed the limit set for long-term loans and all other long-term loan policies shall still apply, including the time frame for repayment in the paragraph set above. And be it further ordained that this ordinance shall take effect immediately and shall supersede, repeal, and replace all prior inconsistent, inconsistent laws of the Gauls Sioux tribe. We have motion. a motion. Okay. We have a motion by Councilwoman Halverson, a second. second by Councilman Hawkins. All for the vote. Wesley Hawkins Sr. Oh. Jim Meeks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin Eagle Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Robin Tapio? Yes. Tyler Lunderman? Yes. Don Roy Gospair? Yes. Craig Dillon? Yes. James Cross? Unanimous 14, motion passed. Resolution of the Gloucester Tribal Council approving Doug O'Brien Contracting Incorporated's contract change order number one to add work for the construction of the Pine Ridge Sewer Lining Phase 2 contract, PR 2021-CS-4, whereas the Gloucester Tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as the supreme law of the land with the United States government pursuant to the U.S. Constitution Article 6, and is a signatory to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, and continues the nation to nation relationship with the federal government. And whereas the Gulf Sioux Tribe organized under Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 25 USC subsection 5123, by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws. And under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Gauls Sioux Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Articles 4, Sections 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Gauls Sioux Tribe and its membership. And whereas the Gulf Sioux Tribal Council has the authority to approve contracts and change orders, and whereas the Health and Human Services Committee is a standing committee of the Tribal Council that oversees the Indian Health Service, Martin, sanitation facilities, construction contracts, and whereas the Gulf Sioux Tribe's Water and Sewer Company requires the approval of a change order and contract modification to add additional work to contract PR, 2021-CS-4 between the Ogallal Sioux Tribe and Doug O'Brien Contracting, Inc. And whereas on June 13, 2023, the Ogallal Sioux Tribe Health and Human Services Committee met during regular session and approved the change order to add work to, to the contract. Change order number one will increase contract PR 2021-CS-4 by a total of $136,650 $136, from $3,917,247.20 to $4,053,897.20. No additional time is requested. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Tribal Council of the Gulf Sioux Tribe has voted to approve the contract change order for Doug O'Brien's contracting to add work to the Pine Ridge Sewer Lining Phase 2 contract PR 2021-CS dash for and increase the contract total by $136,650 from 
$917,247.20 to $4,053,897.20 and be a further resolve the tribal president or in his absence, the vice president is hereby authorized to sign any documents necessary to execute contract change order number one. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, motion to approve by a motion by Councilman Jumpin' Eagle, second by Councilwoman Halverson. Call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins Sr. Oh. Jim Meeks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin' Eagle Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Don Ospair. Yes. Craig Dillon. Twelve yes, two not voting. Motion passed. Council, there was suggested that you know um, if we want to keep going, we can probably order something for dinner. We need to know now so we can put in an order. Chairman, go ahead. Chair, I think we just got three uh, regular agenda items to do. Okay. And it, uh, if it's okay with council and, and you, Chairman, to just recess after that till tomorrow and finish the two thirds in the reports. Sounds sounds uh, like a plan to me. I think it'd be it'd be a good time to let the the ones here from the schools know that. We won't get to them till tomorrow. That way, they don't have to sit here and wait. Yes. So we'll go go ahead and uh, finish finish up here, and, and then uh, tackle the two thirds in the morning. Should I continue, Chair? Yes. Okay. Resolution of the Gulf Tribal Council. The Gulf Tribe amending Resolution Number twenty three dash seventeen. Time period for. Res Recession and approving the Tribal House LLC, aka Tribal EM PLC, all inclusive service payment of $167,854.80 for services rendered from November 1st, 2022 through June 17th, 2023. Whereas the Gulf Tribe organized under Section 16 of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934, 25 USC, subsection 5123 by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws and under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Law Street Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Articles 4, Section 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs and enterprises of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Glossu tribe and its membership. And whereas the West Teen Native Women's Health Care Clinic is a PL 93-638 tribal program providing obstet obstetrics and gynecological, gynecological health care services to the Native American population in Rapid City, South Dakota. And whereas the West Teen Native Women's Health Care Clinic entered into an agreement with the Tribal Health LLC, aka Tribal EM, PLLC, and who provided NWHC with temporary health care staffing services during the time period November 1st, 2022 to March 15th, 2023. And whereas the resolution number 22-155 approved the agreement with Tribal Health and Tribal Health provided services in accordance with the agreement, but had not signed the agreement due to internal issues with turnover and staff within the company. And whereas NWHC proposed rescinding their agreement as it was not signed in a resolution number 23-17 
rescinded resolution number 22-155, but NWHC found it necessary to continue to utilize services due to the need for coverage by professional staff. And whereas Tribal Health has provided services and has submitted invoices for payment for those services and has submitted the signed contract and both w NWHC have terminated the agreement with notice and completion of services. And whereas the NWHC is proposing an agreement, an amendment to resolution number 23-17 to amend the time period for rescission from October 1st, 2022 through September 30th, 2023 to June 17th, 2023 through September 30th, 2023. And whereas the Health and Human Services Committee reviewed the issues and proposed amendment to resolution number 23-17 recommends that Tribal Council approve of the amendment and payment to Tribal Health. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Glossary Tribal Council does hereby approve the amendment to resolution number 23-17 for the time period of rescission from October 1st, 2022 to September 30th, 2023, amending the June 17th, 2023 to September 30th, 2023. And be it further resolved that the Tribal Council hereby authorizes payment to Tribal Health LLC, AKA Tribal EMP LLC, in the amount of $167,854.80 from the Native Women's Healthcare Clinic third party revenue fund account. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, we've got a motion by Councilman Jump Neagle, second by Councilman Tapio. Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Ho. Oh. Jim Inks. Yes. Ryan Jumping Eagle, Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Hawkins, Sr. Ho. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman, Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson? Yes. Robin Tapio? Yes. Tyler Lunderman? Yes. Don Roy Gosper? Yes. Craig Dillon? Unanimous 14. Motion passed. Chair, I'm also the vice chair of land, so I'll do lands also. Okay. Let's switch it. Turn your hat around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, resolution of the of the tribal council of the Guadalupe Sioux tribe approving the recontracting contract number W9128F23P0043 of the Guadalupe Sioux tribe natural resources regulatory agency badlands bombing range department to perform the services under the fixed price agreement with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Omaha District in the amount of $235,555.12 for the period of time from June 30th, 2023 through June 29th, 2024. Whereas the Gualasu tribe adopted its constitution and bylaws by referendum vote on December 14th, 1935 in accordance with section 16 of the Indian Organization Act of 1934 25 U.S.C. subsection 5123, and under Article 3 of the Gualasu Tribe Constitution, the Gualasu Tribal Council is the governing body of the Gualasu Tribe, and whereas the Land and Natural Resources Committee is the standing committee of the Tribal Council with oversight authority over the Badlands Bombing Range Department, which, com which committee did meet on June 5th, 2023, with a quorum present and did approve this resolution and is and the attached agreement be forwarded to the Tribal Council for their action. And whereas the Gualasu Tribe Natural Resources Regulatory Agency, Badlands Bombing Range Department has, has through previous resolutions and funding agreements with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Omaha District has successfully completed all such previous requirements under the fixed price agreements. And whereas the Gualasu Tribe opposed the agreed upon stipulations from the April 2005 and May 29, 2009 consultations with the USACE 
which calls for the continued funding from the USACE for the Badlands Bombing Range Department until the cleanup of the Badlands area is completed. And whereas the Constitution in April, the consultation in April 2005 concluded with items agreed upon in order to continue the work on the Badlands area by the USACE and its contractors representing and acting on behalf of the Ogallosu tribe were members of the tribal council and executive board, including the OST president and for the USACE was Colonel Bidet. And it was agreed that the Ogallosu tribe would be provided funding needed to reopen a Badlands Bombing Range Department office under the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency until the entire cleanup efforts are completed on the contaminated Badlands area. That the funding would support the Ogallosu tribe in implementing the following functions. Serving as the primary point of the contact between the Ogallosu tribe and the USACE regarding all matters on the Badlands range, also for tribal members seeking assistance or information providing education, outreach, and safety briefings to the Gosu tribe and its members, including two tribal council meetings, programs, and others, providing status reports to the Gosu tribe and its members on the cleanup efforts, including presentations to tribal council committees, programs, and others, providing coordination assistance with project manager meetings held at a variety of locations regarding the status of the cleanup efforts, providing status reports to the Gosu tribe and its members on the cleanup efforts, as well as coordinating USACE presentations to the Ogallosu tribe and its members, providing a repository in the office, which is open to the public containing documents and reports, providing Lakota language assistance in public meetings, education outreach, cleanup status meetings and safety briefings to help with understanding the processes of the project, providing assistance to the USACE and its contractors with obtaining require tribal permits for work on the Badlands bombing range. And whereas on in June 2005, the Glossu tribe reopened the Badlands bombing range department office under the direction of the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency through a cooperative agreement utilizing formerly used defense sites funding available from the Department of Defense through USACE. And this funding also allowed for the continued cleanup action plan to be implemented by the USACE and communication between the Ogallosu tribe and the USACE was reestablished through the Badlands Bombing Range Department. And whereas in cleanup efforts on the former Badlands Bombing Range, considerable quantities of cultural resources have been identified, including archeological and paleontological findings and which identifying and protecting of cultural resources of all those working on the Badlands Bombing Range remain a high priority of the Gosu tribe. And whereas the USACE is called upon to re-contract with the Gosu tribe through a fixed price agreement in the amount of $235,555.12 under the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency Badlands Bombing Range Department to complete the tasks as outlined in the performance work statement of the agreement during the period of time from June 30th, 2023 to June 29th, 2024. And whereas the agreement will be utilized to operate the Badlands Bombing Range Department office to staff one full-time Badlands Bombing Range specialist cultural liaison position, one full-time outreach coordinator position, supplement one part-time director, the current natural and cultural resources director, and to supplement one part-time office manager, current office manager position, and to administer the agreement, serve as point of contact, provide education and safety outreach, serve as a repository of reports, and then complete other related tasks stated in the performance work statement. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the Glossy Tribe, based upon the recommend, recommendation of the OST Land and Natural Resources Committee, does here approve the attached recontracting fixed price agreement between the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Omaha District, and the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency, Badlands Bombing Range Department in the amount of $235,555.12 for the period time of time from June 30th, 2023 to June 29th, 2024. Be it further resolved that the president of the Glau Sioux Tribe or the vice president of the, of the Glau Sioux Tribe in the absence of the OST president is directed to sign this resolution and the attached recontracting fixed price agreement between the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers 
Omaha District and the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency Bylands Bombing Range Department. Be it further resolved that the president or the vice president of Galveston Tribe in the absence of the president is authorized to sign the DD1155 form order for for supplies or services contract purchase order agreement number W9128F23P0043 between the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Omaha District, and the OST Natural Resources Regulatory Agency, Badlands Bombing Range Department for a total of $235,555.12 as presented and by so signing to bind the Oglala Sioux Tribe. Motion to approve. Motion by Councilman Jump Eagle, second by Councilman Hawkins. Oh, Watkins. Uh, well, we've been messing your last name all day. Maybe you should just call it my first name. I'm getting tired of being called. <laughs> Secretary, call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh. Jim Minks. Yeah. Ryan Jumpin' Eagle, Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Yes. Don Ray Gosper. Yes. Craig Dillon? Yes. Unanimous 14, motion passed. Chairman. Go ahead. I'll also be doing a youth affairs committee. I'm the chairman of that committee. <laughs> <laughs> Flip that hat back around. Okay. All right. Resolution of the Gloucester Sioux Tribal Council of the Gloucester Sioux Tribe to appoint Wesley Hawkins Sr. to the youth affairs committee. Whereas the Galasu tribe is a sovereign tribal nation that has entered into treaties as a supreme law of the land with the United States government pursuant to the U.S. Constitution, Article 6, and is a signatory to the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1851, 1 Stat 749, and the Treaty of Fort Laramie of 1868, 15 Stat 635, and continues the nation-to-nation -nation relationship with the federal government. And whereas the Galasu tribe organized under Section 16, of the Indian Reorganization Act of 1934-25 USC, subsection 5123, by adopting a federally approved constitution and bylaws, and under Article 3 of the Tribal Constitution, the Gallasu Tribal Council is the governing body of the tribe. And whereas Article 1F, 1K, 1M, and 1W empower the Tribal Council to manage the economic affairs of the tribe, protect and preserve the property of the tribe, adopt laws governing the conduct of persons on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and adopt laws protecting and promoting the health and general welfare of the Gloucester tribe and its membership. And whereas, and whereas, there's two whereases in there, Stacy, by ordinance number 19 22, May 29, 2019, the Tribal Council adopted the Standing Committee Ordinance of the Gloucester tribe. And whereas the OST Youth Affairs Committee met on June 2nd, 2023 and adopted a motion to appoint Wesley Hawkins Senior Eagle Nest District Representative to the Youth Affairs Committee and now recommends the Oglalski Tribal Council approve the appointment of Mr. Hawkins Sr. to the Youth Affairs Committee. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Oglalski Tribal Council does hereby approve the appointment of Wesley Hawkins Sr. to the Youth Affairs Committee. Motion to approve. Okay, Second. that motion by Councilman Second. Jumpin' Eagle. Second by Councilman Dreamer. I saw you watching me. <laughs> Call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins, Sr. Oh, oh, huh. Jim Inks. Yes. <coughs> Ryan Chepanico, Sr. Yes. Howard Brooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Oh. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. 
James Cross? Yes. Anna Halverson? Yes. George Dreamer Jr.? Yes. Robin Tapio? Yes. Tyler Lunderman? Yes. John Roy Gosper? Yes. Craig Dillon? Yes. Unanimous 14, motion passed. Go ahead, Councilman. Chairman, I forgot I was going to make a motion to, uh, as a youth affairs uh, chairman, to honor those those uh, youth that got honored today with, uh, to gift them a, a sweater like we did with all the other youth we honored. Um, them, them, that team from Oalau and the two Sierra sisters and the two Eagle girl. Second. That's my motion. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion by Councilman Jump and Eagle and second by Councilman Lunderman. Call for the vote. Wesley Hawkins Sr. Oh. Jim Minks. Yes. Ryan Jumpin' Eagle Sr. Yes. Howard Rooks. Yes. Austin Watkins Sr. Tyler Yellowboy. Yes. Wendell Youngman Jr. Yes. James Cross. Yes. Anna Halverson. Yes. George Dreamer Jr. Yes. Robin Tapio. Yes. Tyler Lunderman. Yes. Donroy Gosper. Yes. Craig Dillon? Yes. Unanimous 14. Motion passed. Okay, that, that uh concludes the regular session. We can do the reports in the morning. You want? That way we can get out of here. It's 4 30. What time are we starting? Um, eight. <laughs> that. Well, we're going to just uh, remember to be here at regular time, 10, 10 o'clock, but our next council meeting, we're going to start at nine. So thank, thank you, uh, Council, for your patience today. You can leave your stuff. And we'll see you tomorrow, 10, 10 o'clock sharp. We will be starting. Oh, also, Councilman, Councilman, uh, tomorrow, uh, Rep Representative Johnson is going to be here uh, doing the tour. Um, so he's going to meet down in Pine Ridge and then he's going to go on to the Wounded Knee site. He wanted a tour over there. Now, where uh, whereabouts he's going to go after that, I'm not sure. Uh, still trying to find out those details. So we're working with his assistant. So I encourage you guys to... Uh, 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 if wherever he wherever he ends up at, I'm sure he'll be here to uh, to voice your. I guess if he has questions on the wounded knee bill, so but that's going on tomorrow. So have a good night. Well, now you have enough time to um, Recording stopped.